Welcome to PA Timber Goose. Today I'm going to talk about my two GoPro cameras. I use three cameras when I make my videos. I have a Canon Rebel T8i and uh, this one here is a GoPro 8. GoPro 9 is much better than 8 because when you turn this on you can see yourself in front of the 9 because there's a monitor here. That's the only way if you can tell that your frame is centered up or not. Uh, the 8 doesn't have that unfortunately. And uh, that has cost me quite a few videos when I started. Uh, you could only see half of my head or half of what I was looking at. But uh, still a great camera. I use the GoPro 8 for the underwater shots and uh, the shots that I'm not really not really worried about breaking it because most of my videos are made with the GoPro 9. And uh, both of them are great cameras. The battery on the GoPro 8 is much smaller than the 9. And uh, I currently have some different batteries here. Two great cameras, but eventually I'm going to step up to the GoPro 11. Uh, the electronics have advanced greatly with the GoPro 11. Better color processing, better sound, better stabilizer. And uh, you can shoot 5K with the GoPro 11. There's a lot of GoPros out there. Most of the videos you see uh, when you're walking around, you can see the shadow of them holding their GoPro on, the, on a small handheld tripod. So uh, GoPro is the way to go. It had, has some positives and negatives to it. But uh, generally, generally, it's a very good camera. Currently, I use a medium-sized tripod, and I have a magnetic base on here. And uh, I'm done with screwing that pin in and out. Well, you have a pin there and a pin there, and uh, too much taken on, taken off. The magnetic base is much better. You can just uh, snap it in, snap it out, and you're ready to go. If you have a chest harness on, and you need to take it out and change the battery, you can pop this out. Put a battery in and then snap it back in here without doing any adjustments to uh, you know where the where the camera's pointed at, so uh, you won't mess up any of your, any of your scenes. But uh, definitely a way to go. See if I can pronounce the name on my on my magnetic base, Ulanzi. I'll have some links down in the comment section of what I what I'm going over here today. But uh, definitely a great tripod. I have one of these on my dashboard mounts too, one on my chest mount, and I do have a bigger tripod for this when I'm doing vlogs, and uh, so I have a medium sized tripod and a large size, and then I have a very short tripod that I use when I'm walking through the woods uh, making videos. Go GoPro is an awesome camera, and you can do a lot of things with these, these are waterproof. Most of the time, uh, they have some issues after they've been underwater. Your microphone is here. Sometimes water will get in here, and uh, it'll it'll screw with your audio sound until that water comes out of there. But uh, I had I've done a few underwater videos. I uh, don't I don't know if I trust the waterproof part of the camera or not. I'm afraid of something happening to my camera. 99% uh, of my videos are always made with a GoPro 9, so I'm a little leery putting that one underwater. So my underwater shots are always made with a GoPro 8. You can get filters for your GoPro. Uh, currently I have a few filters here. This is my second box because uh, usually I uh, have the neutral density filter on my GoPro which is on here right now and basically what you're going to do is you're just going to take your camera, you're going to twist it and it has a waterproof seal on it and it pops right off. There are different kinds of uh, filters out there. and uh, The other filter that I tried is this one here. This one just kind of snaps over the lens and I don't really care for this one. This one's about $15. I bought two of them. But uh, the problem with this is moisture gets inside of here and then it, you can see the moisture in your video. So don't get the ones that pop over your lens. This will ruin your videos. Uh, that cost me a couple of videos also. You can change the filters on your camera. What it does is it slows the processor down and that uh, really makes the colors stand out. I'm not an expert with the GoPro. Uh, most of the stuff I learned were from other YouTubers. And there are a lot of great videos out there for the GoPro cameras. So that's my GoPro 9, my filters, uh, my tripod, my magnetic base. GoPros do not like the cold weather. Uh, you have, I've always had issues with the batteries. Turn my 9 on here. I can video myself making a video. Usually what will happen is when you're using your camera, the camera's cold and the battery's cold. 
you always want to keep it in your pocket here so it stays warm and then when you find something that you want to video pull your camera out pop it in your magnetic base and video it and you can watch the battery life on your camera die what will happen is on the back screen here it'll turn pink first and then it'll turn blue and sometimes they're your, uh, your screen will invert and go sideways and then it'll power down and shut off. Uh, that's what happens to the GoPro in the cold weather. So now we have an Enduro battery. I actually have three different kinds of batteries here. We'll start out with the GoPro battery which I bought first. I bought six of these and I currently only have one left. Uh, five of them died and unfortunately GoPro batteries do not last very long. So I have one of these left, and then secondly, I bought Ortman batteries. I bought a dozen of these, and I've only lost one of these so far. Uh, my chargers, the chargers I have, you can put three in at a time, and uh, my chargers are actually starting to die before the batteries. But I have six or seven chargers because every time I bought batteries, I got another charger. So I have four or five chargers for these. And then I wanted to try out the Enduro battery. The GoPro Enduro batteries are about $20 a piece. Arua, hopefully I'm saying that correct. The Arua battery was about $5 cheaper per battery. And unfortunately I didn't save any money because these don't work. These came in a three pack with the charger. The charger looks cool. It has a, an electronic readout on the charger where you can tell how much it how much charge is in your battery and uh, they charge very quick. These are lithium batteries and uh, these, really, these are really terrible batteries. <laughs> I made two videos with these and uh, either one of these made it past 20 minutes. One of these lasted 10 minutes. The other one lasted 20 minutes and I had to stop and pull off the road. I was doing a video driving down the road the other day on Goldmine Road and I had to put the Ortman battery in. These last about 45 minutes to an hour. It uh, just depends on the settings that you have on your camera. If you have your camera on 4K, it uh, will suck the battery down a lot quicker than 1080 by 70. Um, <clears throat> the settings on a GoPro camera are pretty much unlimited. I'm not going to go over them because there's too many of them. I'm not an expert on the GoPro settings. Uh, most of my settings I came from other YouTubers. It took a while for me to find the correct setting on here that I liked. It wants me to set up the time. There we go. It's making me set the date up for the new year. I usually don't use this that much unless I'm doing a vlog and I want to center my center my shot up. You have to turn get on the uh, quick app and turn your phone on and have the Bluetooth control your GoPro and that way you can center your shot up when you're using this for a vlog. That way you can tell you're in the middle or if you need to zoom in or out. GoPro doesn't have a big zoom. It has a 1 to 2 zoom. And uh, the more you zoom it out, the more fisheye effect you get. So mine's kind of in the middle. Mine always, I always have my GoPro set on narrow. Lots of different settings on the back here. Swipe down, tap the back, it'll unlock. And on the back you can see all the, hopefully my camera can see that. You can see all the settings on here. Yeah, I'm probably not going to see it. I have standard. Activity cinematic standard I have four four K by thirty linear. Activity is ten eighty by two forty linear. When you do activity it's it's easier to use the ten eighty setting. And most of my videos are shot in cinematic, which is two point seven by sixty narrow. That uh gives you very sharp, clean, uh crisp colors. And the only setting I, I, I adjust in here it's usually my uh, my lighting. I'll go in and change the change the ISO max, usually between 100 and 800, depending upon how dark it is. 2.7 you can usually see in the dark pretty well, and uh, 800 is for when it's darker. If it's really bright, I'll turn it down to maybe 100 or 200. That way my color's not washed out. GoPro is an amazing camera. You could actually go on a trip and put two or three of these in one pocket and a handful of batteries and you would be ready to go. Um, sometime in the future there will be a GoPro 11. A lot, of, uh, a lot of the videos you see on YouTube were actually made with GoPro. There are a lot of DSL cameras out there also. Currently I have an EOS 
Rebel T8i and uh, that have a, had a lot of good reviews so I've been using that for quite a while. So that's my camera. So the issues I had with GoPro when I first got it, it's getting a little chilly sitting here. There's a cloud cover in the sun. The issues I had with GoPro when I first bought it is it was very buggy. So our first trip to Elk County, um, I lost a lot of my videos because of the buggy software. It, uh, would, it would only get parts of it or it would keep jumping the time lapse or picture. It wouldn't stay where it was supposed to or it would crash. Every time the GoPro crashes, you got to open the door and pull the battery out. Put the battery back in, close the door and get it to reset because other than that it won't work. <laughs> if your card ever says reformat card, don't do it. Don't hit that button. <laughs> Open a door, take that SD card out, and put another one in there. Uh, I lost a couple of fishing videos because of that. Uh, put another SD card in. I always have 12 or 13 SD cards with me at all times. Because uh, SD cards only last about a year or two, depending upon how many times you use them. Uh, I've, I've blown through quite a few SD cards already. And uh, what I do is I get my SD cards, and I get a fine marker, and I put numbers on them, 1, 2, and 3. So the oldest ones are one, the one after that is two, and the new ones are three. So uh, do not format your SD card, you'll lose all your videos. <laughs> Don't do it. Okay, that's my SD cards. We went over the batteries. You want to use your GoPro when it's really cold. Take some uh, awesome hand warmers, put a hand warmer on each side, put a rubber band on it, and uh, do not cover the lens. And I'll give it a few minutes, your camera will warm up and it will work when it's cold and the battery will last a little bit longer. But uh, you want lots of batteries when it's cold because uh, they don't last. Keep your camera in your shirt pocket with a hand warmer and uh, take it out when you want to use it. And then when you're not filming, put it back. <clears throat> the Moisture Demon. The Moisture Demon. Moisture does not like GoPro whatsoever. Uh, a lot of times when GoPros run, when GoPros run, they get very warm, so they create a lot of moisture. Um, a lot of times when you're making a video, it'll start looking foggy. Keep an eye on this, or look at the back, and you can see if it's foggy. <coughs> Most of the fog is actually inside of here. And what I'll do a lot of times is I will take the lens off, and I will film this way. You can see the color change in some of my videos. Uh, sometimes you can edit it out, sometimes you can't. But there's always moisture that gets inside of there. <clears throat> the second place you get moisture... Let's turn the GoPro back on again. second place you get moisture is you can actually see it in the monitor on the front. This will start getting cloudy. And uh, this will start fogging over. You'll get moisture inside of your camera. The only way to deal with that is uh, turn your camera off. Your camera has to cool down. And uh, what you'll do is you'll open the door here. Take your battery out. Open the door and leave it sit there for about for a few minutes, maybe five or ten minutes, and uh, your camera will cool down, and uh, that fogginess will go away, and then you can put your battery in and start over. But uh, anywhere you're near a place where there's a lot of moisture, the camera gets very warm, and it gets very warm to the touch, and uh, it'll create a lot of moisture inside of your camera and ruin your video. So, cold weather and moisture are your two enemies of your GoPro, and uh, do not format your card. <laughs> okay, that's my two GoPros. That's my rundown of my two GoPro cameras. Uh, maybe next year I'll buy a GoPro 11. Uh, really looking forward to the new camera. It can do a lot of things. Do I need a gimbal on the GoPro? Well, that's up to you. I did buy a gimbal and I don't really care for it because it's hard to control. The gimbal always seems to be going the wrong way like this. If you take your GoPro and you turn the boost on the max, uh, they, it works very well. It's very similar to having a gimbal. So now, I don't like the gimbal that I have. That was expensive and I don't even use it. It's sitting there in a the box. But I uh, love my GoPro. It just can't zoom in. That would be one of the other drawbacks. It's, it's an action camera. It's not a DSLR camera, so it's not supposed to zoom in. But uh, many settings, many things you can do with a GoPro. Once you set it up, then all you got to do is go in and tap. When you want to change the settings onto it, you can go to another setting. And uh, this is very user friendly. And uh, that's it for the end of this video. <clears throat> Thanks for watching, PA Timmer Goose. Like, share, and subscribe.
Don't forget to hit that notification bell. Every time a new video goes up, you'll be notified. Check out the comments. Check out the community page on both channels. I have some surveys on there you can check out. And uh, as always, thanks for watching PA Timber Ghost. We'll see you on our next video. Thanks for watching.